Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto, and I've got another recipe for you. This is one of my favorite childhood dessert recipes. It is a cheese danish, but I had to make it keto for us, and I'm using Carb Quick with this recipe. Per usual, I'll leave all the measurements and the instructions in the description box below, but you can just basically follow along. I add one and a half cups of Carb Quick baking mix to get started. I also go ahead and add about a quarter cup of granulated stevia. And then I eyeball in about a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg into the mix. Next, and a vital ingredient to the pastry dough is adding in one half cup of very hot water, almost boiling hot water to the mix once you add your sweetener and spices. Feel free to add a little bit more water, one tablespoon at a time, if your dough doesn't seem to be coming together, but go in slowly. I sealed and set aside the carb quick dough because I wasn't going to make them right away. So just letting it set up for a little bit too is not a bad idea because once it starts to get too warm it can get a little bit more difficult to handle on the parchment paper. Even though if there's a tear you can always just fix it, push it back together, get some parchment on it. It's very forgiving. So we can just go ahead and start grabbing about golf ball sizes of the dough and roll them out between parchment paper. I'm going to go with the square shape right now, but you can see I make a lot of different styles of cheese danish and you can do whatever you want. The dough is very flexible, but I'm going to stick with the square for now. Now that we got the dough made and sealed and chilling waiting for us in the refrigerator. We can go ahead and get started on the filling. You can of course go ahead and make the filling first, especially if you plan to go right straight ahead on through and prep the cheese danishes one time. Instead of I did, I had to kind of break it up because I had homeschooling in between, so I had to get creative. But you can go ahead and make the cream first so that it is chilled because it will help it not to spread too much inside of the pastry when you're baking it. I kept my cheese danish filling pretty simple. I added four ounces of cream cheese, about two ounces or a really huge heaping teaspoon of mascarpone cheese. I then added some liquid stevia for a little extra sweetness. They had vanilla cream available, so I used that one. So I figured it gives it some sweetness and a touch of that vanilla taste as well. Then go ahead and add in the yolk of one egg. Then go ahead and whisk together all the wet ingredients until smooth and well combined. Add one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice if you have it, 
toward the end after everything is whisked together so the sauce doesn't break. And at this point guys, I'm just making it up as I go along. I'm having fun and hoping that it comes out looking really good. And I'm sure even if it doesn't look good, it'll taste good. And yeah, so. Then go ahead and repeat the process flattening out the dough. You can do different shapes. The second one that I did was more of like a cylinder. And what I did was depress the center of the cylinder and make it so that I could just set down uh, the cream cheese and jam on top and it wouldn't bubble over. So you can get creative. Try different ways to do it. There's no one way to do it correctly. I figured I'd add an extra twist of flavor to this danish and applied some lemon curd, sugar free of course. It's a great brand, I've tried it before. Then just keep repeating the process of prepping the dough in whatever shape you like, experiment, have fun, do it your own way, add your special twist. I truly hope you guys enjoy this keto cheese danish recipe. It brought back so many childhood memories and I hope it's a great comfort food for you all right now. And of course, until the next time, all my divas and diva family, stay safe and be well.